Jim from JetsonHacks.com. On today's screencast, we are going to install CAFE on the NVIDIA Jetson TX2 development kit. Let's get started. I just finished flashing L4T 27.1 using Jetpack 3.0. L4T 27.1 is a 64-bit Ubuntu 16.04 variant. <laughs> I laugh every time I read stuff like that. Okay, so let's install CAFE. The first thing that we will do is go to the install CAFE JTX2 repository on the Jetson Hacks GitHub accounts. We're going to clone this onto our machine. Git clone. Let's grab this address. Paste it here. Before we do the installation, we are going to crank up the CPU and GPU clocks. There's a script in the home directory to do that. sudo dot slash Jetson clocks. Now we switch over to the installation directory. We are going to be executing this script, install cafe.sh. Let's take a look at it. This script will download the dependencies and install them. Then we'll clone the cafe repository. We will then configure the build system using CMake. This configuration will figure out if we have CUDNN installed and configure itself appropriately. And then we will make CAFE. So then we'll run some tests to make sure installed correctly. This is an optional part, but recommended. So let's install CAFE. Installation complete. 2,097 tests. They all passed. Life is good. Okay, so let's run our test that we usually run. Let's switch over to the cafe directory. We'll grab our test here. Paste it. Okay, so we see that our average forward pass is 64 milliseconds. The tests are run on 10 different crops of the input image. So we take the result and divide it by 10 to get the timing per recognition. So it's 64 divided by 10, 6.4 milliseconds, 84 for the backwards, and 149 for the forward backwards. Let's compare that to a TX1. So on the TX1, we had 80, 119, and 200. So it's 64 versus 80. 119 versus 84 and 200 versus 149. So the Jetson TX2 is quite a bit faster. This is running at maximum clocks. Let's take a look and see what happens when you run it at what they call Qmax, which is an energy saving mode. There is a utility called NVP model See what the current model is. Let's try switching to model one and see what happens. Ooh, it didn't like that.
Okay, so we're in max Q mode. Let's try running our little test again. So you can see in power conservation mode, it runs about the same speed as the Jetson TX-1 does at maximum power. 78 versus 80, 96 versus 119. It's quite a bit faster backwards, it looks like. And 175 to 200 for the total. The Jetson TX-2 is about the same speed using half the power as the TX-1 is. Thanks for watching. Thank you.